The FJ45V is one rare four-wheel drive. Alan Gray and his nephew Andrew Gray have accepted the challenge to bring this old girl back to life. How will Alan work alongside a mechanic 50 years his junior? Will they succeed in restoring this Land Cruiser? And all within budget. Uh, now we're going to have a look at the differential. Uh, it doesn't sound too bad, but for, like in all things on this vehicle, the reliability is important, so we're going to pull it down, have a look at it and uh, put some bearings in at least. And if I can find me offshoot mate here somewhere, we'll give a bit of a hand. I was looking for you in the compressor yeah, and I thought you might have been killed up asleep. Yeah, you look a little bit tired to me, but do you think we can get this diff out of it? Yeah, this is the only model which has held uh, the axles and all held in with clips. Yep. Back plate off, oil drain out, wheels out, and we'll pull the diff. Do you want to grab the um, oil drain? Yeah. In and we'll see if you can manage that. It's not hard, you just wheel it across the air and we'll undo it. Oh, is that what you do with yeah, it? Yeah, that's what you do, kid. The handle's worse than a shopping trolley, this thing. Yeah, that's the original lift, the way they set up. A couple of clips hold the axle in, doesn't sound too good, it's called a non fully floating axle. Uh, they've changed that these days. For instance, if the clips fall out, you've got no brakes, no gears, no handbrake. That ain't good. I take the fill-up plug out, it'll allow the oil to run out a lot quicker. Um, but the oil in this is quite clean, but it's got some metal in it. It's a pity there wasn't some way of, of checking that. Oh, funny you should say that. Ah. <laughs> You've got a new fangled invention here. It's got oh, an oil yeah. sample kit. Oil sample kit. Yeah, yeah. I've heard about them, but I've never really seen one. So in actual fact, this is prepaid. It is, say. yeah. It's all, all posted, yeah, including the price of the purchase. And so you can put diff oil, engine oil, or gearbox oil in there? Yep, you can even get ones that'll do coolant and fuel as well. With the back plate off, Alan and Andrew now need to dismantle the diff centre out so they can get the axles out. I think he'll be right, he can undo nuts and bolts. Alan leaves Andrew to disconnect the tail shaft and then we're ready to take out the diff housing. Alan starts his diagnosis of the diff, which will tell him whether he just needs a new set of bearings or a whole new crown wheel and pinion. So the marking gives me an idea of uh, just where the tooth contact is. Uh, and over a period of time you learn what's good and what's bad, what's going to be noisy, what's going to crack teeth. And that'll actually give me an indication of what we're doing. Okay, so the marking, the marking's good, nice oval marking. Uh, back of the tooth, which a lot of people don't care about, but I do. It's good. Um, while Alan's doing the diff, I'm just going to clean up the diff housing. Uh, I've already got stuck into it quite a bit. It's very important that you remove all the old gasket, uh, otherwise you won't have a good seal. You know, uh, when you install your, your diff centre, it won't sit flat, so you might end up with a bit of axle misalignment. I won't show Alan this, because I, I didn't have these when he did his apprenticeship on awesome carts. But, uh, yeah. With the crown wheel and pinion still in great condition, Alan just needs to fit a new set of bearings. And, uh, we wouldn't use anything else but, uh, but genuine Koyo, um, and that's the same as, as all the ones that we supply in all our kits. Yeah, that's pretty good. With the housing clean and the diff put back together, it's time to put it in. I didn't tell you that I got cracked ribs or some other silly business, and I've got to expect me to do this on my own. Okay, so we've got the side gears in, we've pushed the axles in, we've put our little clips on, blocking between the two and the little spider gears, which are a bit of a fool thing to get indexed up. They're in, and the main pin that goes through and locks everything, and then there's a little locking pin that goes in the side. So just screw that in there, the little 12 mil, and home and hose. Put the back plate on, some oil in it, and lunch, I reckon. Okay, so we've finished the diff. A little bit of fiddling around, but it's pretty good. But the vehicle should be pretty right mechanically now. Um, Actually, I've done most of the work. Um, Andrew, will have to get, Andrew will have to get stuck into the bodywork, but I'm off for lunch. Blow him. Oh, geez, that old war horse is a bit of a worry, isn't he? For the highest quality diff components, visit terraintamer.com.